my name is Luis Felipe Mameri. I am a filmmaker and photographer based in Atlanta. And for this video, I wanted to showcase some black and white photography I took in Hong Kong 2017. 2017 was a very important year for me. Not only because I met some great, great people, but it was a year that for me really symbolizes this shift in my photography. I really started to experiment a lot with film from that year forward. So for today's plan, I'm gonna showcase some of these images and I'm going to talk about them and dissect them a little bit further just to express myself and hopefully some of you guys can gain something valuable out of that. The camera the cameras I utilized were my first medium format camera ever, this TLR camera. And I bought this from a cheap camera thrift store, but it's not the most user friendly, but it still holds a tender place in my heart. And the second camera that I've used to create these images were the Contax T2, which is this very versatile point and shoot film camera. Anyway, let's go ahead and review some images. So this first image is pretty funny. It represents a, a nice little moment. I went to this ramen shop in which they sit you at a booth and there's a curtain in front of you and a lady or a man opens up the curtain and they hand you a piece of ramen. And then so I asked this lady if I could take a portrait of her next to the, the bowl of ramen and this is what I got. To me, the best photography, it resembles nice moments and memories of your past. Anyway, let's move on to photo number two. In the, in the chaos of, a, of Hong Kong, when people are walking back and forth, it's kind of like in New York, I want to freeze time. I not only freeze time, but also play around with the relationship between shadows and highlights. So it adds this kind of like geometric quality to the photograph. So I think there's a lot of shapes going on. I saw that there was a beam of light and basically I waited for someone to pass by. And as someone passed by, I took the photograph and it turned out pretty cool in my opinion um, yeah This is another one of how you can freeze time. It's a nice little dynamic scene. But overall, what I like most about this image is kind of like the, the, the kinetic energy. It's a real testimony to how active and chaotic Hong, Hong Kong is. And yeah, it's a good place to practice photography. Great memories here. I think this photo turned out pretty well. I was walking by this coffee shop and there was a man sitting and I asked to take a portrait of him through the window. The window adds kind of like this reflective quality. It gives it almost like a double exposure type look. And it gives a lot of like reflective qualities. Like you are able to see the streets, what's happening in the street, as well as the portrait of the man. A lot of what really makes interesting photos through my experience has been shooting through materials Material, shooting through things because you incorporate that material to distort what you're shooting. It gives it kind of like a another layer. Yeah, so I think this one turned out pretty well. I really like this one. I might take a lot of portraits of strangers. I like that human interaction. I like looking at people. I love all the details. I like the history, because if you think about it, you know, people represent their history through their face, you know. You're really able to see kind of like the contrast that black and white film really provides. You're able to see kind of like the glimmer in his eyes, the detail in his teeth. I'm really happy how sharp it turned out. And in my experience, the way that I kind of like approach strangers to take their portraits is first, you have to be very humble. Two, not be afraid to look like an idiot, you know? Especially when you're a different country, it helps to kind of like be genuine and be authentic and kind of like ask, you know, and interact with the people, you know? I really like this one.
Claudia, Kendra, and Alex. These girls are pretty special and they were good friends. They still are good friends. Photography, other than making kind of like meaningful, aesthetic, beautiful work, it also works to kind of like stamp and immortalize moments in time. You know, I mean, as we get older, we kind of like remember who these people are. We remember who we were. So it's pretty special. I hope you guys are doing well. Another one, we traveled to Japan, and so I took the snapshot. This was when we were younger, you know. Um, I don't know where these people are, but I sure hope them the best. Wild, wild times. Photography is a motivator to experience new things, to meet new people, and yeah. This one is interesting. Um, I actually took this one in digital. I got my hands on a really wide lens. There was a crosswalk and so I got really low and I managed to capture this very interesting scene purely based on luck. You know, a lot of exaggerated lines. That's what kind of like wide angle lenses give you. And yeah, I really just went wild taking pictures of people. I like to be very active. I like to be very out there with my photography. To me, it's all about interacting with the world. And to close things off, here's another example of how experimental I was during this time. I put the camera on the ground and photographed looking up and you can see how gigantic looking these people look. And I feel like photography is also about looking at things through a new perspective. Sometimes it's figuratively, other times it's quite literally. Yeah, I used to be very experimental, very out there, yeah. And it's kind of interesting because these images, they mean a lot to me and were taken a few years ago. And so as I look back on them, it's like, it's just this weird effect of revisiting a time in your life, the people you've met in such detail. The images, they produce this type of unique effect that is kind of nostalgic. Photography is almost like a testament of time, you know, of the things you've lived, of the time that's passed. I even struggle to put it into words, but um, I'll try to reflect on this and hopefully I'll become a little bit more articulate in terms of what photography means to me. But until then, I hope you guys found this photography discussion valuable. Thank you guys for sticking through this. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.